Hello, Angry Spork here, and I want to talk about the Birds of Prey trailer that came out today, and in the spirit of the Birds of Prey trailer, I'm going to talk about the dinner I just finished. You see, it was a couple of slices of leftover meatloaf that, you know, cooked in the oven, it had been frozen for a while, and, you know, I had a, a bit of a vegetable medley here, some carrots, some snap peas, I think some cucumber, like I... I I didn't read the bag or anything, and, you know, I had some rice with some beef gravy on it. I've been having too much beef lately. You see? Haven't I gotten so much about birds of prey to you now? Seriously, though. <sighs> I'm just tired, guys and gals. I am tired. So that's the best way I can explain. I felt tired when I saw some of the earlier stills and posters and stuff. Like The trailer is Harley Quinn-centric, when she is the last two-thirds of the title. Why didn't they just call it Harley Quinn and then a spin-off from this movie would be called The Birds of Prey? Because it doesn't feature the other characters that much. I mean, you don't, you don't really get anything about them. And, well, except for, you know, a little bit about Cassandra, and I'll get to that in a minute. You see Huntress on her motorcycle? Maybe she'll pick up a mask later, or so, or maybe it'll be more like the 2002 series where she just wore a skimpy black outfit or whatever. You saw a little bit of Black Canary singing, and you know, oh, water's shaking, so either that's her sonic powers or a T-Rex is trying to get past the bouncer. Harley Quinn and, like, Two or three times they say the word emancipation because she's broken up with Joker. Uh, which, you know, he kind of got with the teaser where she smashes the balloon. I get that they're trying to build off the success of the Su Suicide Squad movie because Harley was one of the more memorable and likable characters from that movie. Here's the thing. She wasn't that much better. Oh, she's crazy, so we'll just have her say a bunch of wacky stuff and do other wacky stuff and crazy! <laughs> and honestly, I don't want to start accusing anyone, because, you know, if you like the movie, you like the movie. You liked Margot Robbie, you liked Margot Robbie. But can we stop for a moment and think of why exactly she was the most popular character from that film? Yes, Harley has a fan base from the animated series and from the comics. This is riding a lot on one character that's kind of oversaturated as it is. I mean, I've seen comments from people talking about, like, Harley's and everything. They're trying to make her some kind of, like, anti-hero, some kind of Deadpool-esque character. Maybe Ambush Bug wasn't villainous enough. Or maybe it's because he wasn't drawn as an attractive female. I don't know. Personally, I liked the sitcom-style relationship she had with the Joker in the animated series. I didn't like it when it got overly physically abusive, because if they're just, like, sniping at each other, that's one thing. You see that in sitcoms, like the husband and the wife, they, they have their arguments, they bicker, they make fun of one another, but they make up at the end when those things happen. It was amusing to see that in the animated series. They took it to an extent I didn't really like, especially in the fourth season. No, they're going in a different direction with this movie. Fine. I, I've, I have accepted a lot of changes from source material to film, either because I'm not that close to the source material, or because I'm like, okay, they're going to make changes because i got to show this to a widespread audience. So I try to understand that. Like, Nightcrawler? I love Nightcrawler. Like, one of my favorite episodes in the animated series from the 90s was uh, the revelation that Mystique is his mom, and that was his second appearance on the show, not including one cameo. Him being the child of a villainous character can lend itself to a lot of great storytelling, but she wasn't his mom in the movies. I was okay with that. I, I, I was not upset about that. Batman Begins. Bruce, I don't think Bruce ever tried to kill Joe Chill and had his childhood crush smack him in the face and realize shooting people ain't good. Some changes are more... Uh, acceptable than others, and I I guess I could sh accept some of these changes in this movie if they're well written, where Harley is concerned. But Cassandra is another matter! I noticed a post on DCU, someone mentioned, like, isn't she supposed to be mute? Because apparently she talked, and like, I hadn't seen the trailer yet, I was like, 
I and mean, I'm thinking in my head, well, maybe she like says a couple of words, but they're not like a full sentence or anything. Uh, like bro the broken sentences she was saying uh, shortly after her brain got rewired. Then I watched the trailer and, and no, she's talking about like you would expect a kid of the actress's age to speak. Like in the same syntax, the same, you know, speed. And Okay, <sighs> I don't like it. I could deal if the movie was good enough, if the movie was fun enough. I'm, tr I'm trying, to trying so freaking hard. I'm trying to keep an open mind. Trying not to judge this thing before it comes out. She seems to be talking just like anyone else. That tells me that the many writers of this film somehow could not be bothered to figure out a way to write a mute character. If you recall, Cassie wasn't particularly verbal when we first met her. You know, she tried to speak, but she just couldn't. The first word we hear her say is stop. And then later we learn, oh, she, she knows maybe like ten words. Eventually we found out that it was really more she didn't really think it was necessary. There's a core reason why she was mute. You know, like maybe they want to skip ahead or I, I don't know, but I don't really have much faith in it because <laughs> it's all about Harley. What really gets me was Cassie's being accosted by Black Mask and his goons. The goons chase her. And what does she do? She runs behind Harley Quinn for protection. Yeah. Cassandra Kane, who has like a five or six year old child, could disable brutally a man four times her size, a mercenary. She is running behind Harley Quinn because she is frightened of a bunch of dudes with some guns. Congratulations. For as bad as Tinian was, and I suspect still was during Detective Comics, there were some things he actually got right. Not many. Not enough to forgive the absolute atrocious origin he gave her. Maybe it's too early to say how bad that is. Maybe it was a feint. A trailer is supposed to just get you amped up for the movie, isn't it? But I just don't feel excited. It's because it doesn't look that good. So what? Margot Robbie's in it. I'm not saying she's a bad actress, but she's not a draw for me. And if what they've shown of Cassandra is any indication... The movie will be even less of a draw for me. I might still go see it, but I will probably still hang on to a gift card I got last Christmas, which still has some currency on it, and see it for free, basically. Because I've already paid money for a lousy interpretation of Cassandra Kane, And I'm not doing it again, DC. I'm not doing it again. But hey... Happy 20th anniversary, Cassandra. We're still screwing you up! I wasn't expecting a page-for-page -page, uh, adaptation of Cassandra's origin. And if I was expecting that, I would just be setting myself up for failure, and so DC could feed on my tears. Let's, let's, let's tone it down a little. A little cooler head. Eh. Like... I I don't like the trailer. I I I think it's like, hey, look, it's Harley Quinn. We're calling it Birds of Prey, but look, it's Harley Quinn. It would have made more sense to just call it Harley Quinn, and you know, like you have all these other characters get involved. Clearly, they're not the focus. They are not the focus of this trailer. I doubt if they're going to be the focus of them. I mean, it could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe they'll flesh out these other characters in the movie proper. Aquaman's trailer looked pretty good, Shazam's trailer looked pretty good, and those movies ended up pretty good. I, I don't have any reason to think that this is going to be that, because the trailer will not be 100% representative of the final product. I didn't really have any expectations, any hopes for this movie, because DC likes skeet shooting with people's hopes. And yeah, this is also Warner Brothers, but um, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm just tired. So those are my thoughts.
my ramblings, and my rage. I said my piece, and I know you are all waiting to hear it, so I'll see you later. Good night.